Hello, hello, hello again. Welcome to another BD video. This video will talk about how we can create a custom streaming widget and, and a custom membership feature. So this is gonna be a live video. You're gonna see me create, make mistakes and all that while creating uh, the custom streaming widgets and the custom membership features. So let's go right ahead. My case scenario is basically that I have premium members here, premium and feature members, but I have premium members and these premium members, they want their own, let's say, um, streaming articles. Okay. These articles they, that they will write, they're special articles. Yeah. They're full of magic or unicorns or something, but they want to have their own membership feature articles and their own membership feature, um, sorry, member um, streaming widgets for that specific article. So first, let's go to the membership level so you can see the what features they have available. So here we have uh, premium and they have articles and they have all these uh, different features they have enabled. Here you can see feature with only two and basics, but feature members, the three that's, that that are located there, they want special articles. For that, we have to make sure of a couple of things. Since they want a new feature, and this new feature can be based upon an existing one, in this case, article, the normal procedure for this would be to get a membership uh, features, proceed on finding the article, Okay, since we're gonna be basing it on, on that one, and then copy, copy that, that membership feature. Now we have a copy. When we have a copy, we gotta make sure of two things. First, that the feature name is not the same. It's not duplicated somewhere else. And second, that the article's uh, URL is not the same because we're gonna have conflicts. So let's change that. We're gonna change this and we're gonna name it uh, Super Articles, yeah. And the URL is going to be super articles. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Mm -hmm. And just save it. That's basically all that you have to do there. So now we have a uh, super article here and super article URL. We're going to go to the membership um, levels and we're going to assign that new feature to only the feature members. So we're going to edit here go to features and you're going to see that new uh, super articles down here. There we go. We're only going to enable that option, that, that feature for this membership level. Okay. There we go. Now what we want to do is create a streaming widget for this uh, new feature. Since this feature is based on the article, we're going to also do the same for the streaming articles. We're going to look for the streaming articles on bootstrap sites. They're called reason. Okay. If I, if I type reason alone, you're going to see basically all the um, uh, streaming widgets for information, all the reason uh, reviews, recent members, articles, etc. This is the one we want customize that one and again we do not want to have the same name because we're going to have a conflict there so we're going to rename this to super recent articles and lastly this little guy is actually calling the same value that we said when we go to design settings settings design settings then go to home page layout and then we go when we go to home home page streaming widget options this option here and this one are actually the ones that we're using here okay so 189 166 those are two of the options that you can find on one of these four options here. So for example, if we want to here, you can see max items and max items is calling this little guy here, this variable. And that variable is bringing the information 
from this option. So if I right click inspect element, you'll see that it says custom 166. And you can see that custom 166 here. So what we want to do is in this particular case, we want to change the feature URL. We want to change it. We can't change it here because it's using the, the uh, article feature that it's already applied to the rest of the levels. And we can uh, change it to super article because it will have conflicts with a new feature we created. And we can add another recent article here because uh, that's not how the, the system was created for, to start adding a whole bunch of uh, recent streaming widgets here. So the trick is just simply remove this, this little part here and put the URL right there. So I'm gonna put super articles, okay? There we go. And I'm going now to go to the home page and edit the information here. So we can include that new uh, streaming widget. Let's verify the name of that streaming widget. See the whole name here. Just in case, you can actually start working on the on the code here. And when you want to copy this information and create the widget, you can see it down here. Okay. Can like copy there and just paste it here and we're done we now have the new super recent articles okay let's save this and if somebody goes to the home page they should be able to see the the information here okay but in order to see it obviously we gotta fill the information with a couple of uh, recent article. So let's go to the members. We're going to look for a, a feature member. Here's a feature member, Mega Man. Let's log in with him. And you're going to see he has the super articles here now created because it's on his membership level. So let's add a super article. Um, let's look for images. So I got, let's use this one. Those are the examples I have. Uh, let's say Mega Man, Mega Man Super Article. Yay! There we go. Let's save that. And once saved, we can go to the homepage. But before going to the homepage, I'm going to refresh right now. We must make sure, remember, we edited the homepage. Okay? And if you saw previous videos, you should know that when we're editing the homepage, we got to make sure that on settings, design settings, here we have three uh, widgets, homepage layout, section order, at least one of the options here should have this custom homepage content. Because if you don't have it here, none of the cu custom information you add here will work. Okay, so let's put it there. Let's save that. And now we can refresh the page. And we should be able to see, here you can see, the new uh, super article. Okay, there's no title here because then you have to actually go to the toolbox, widget manager, edit the super recent articles. And since that's calling the variables from design settings we gotta go down here and just customize another of the variables that's being called here we go so let's remove this part and super articles save it go to the home page refresh and there we go Okay, so now we have a section for super articles that only feature members can actually uh, create and use. We have we even have URLs for each of the items. You can see them here. And we even have a search for them. Okay, you can see it here. So that's all. All the information you need to know for creating custom streaming widgets for custom membership features.
that you would like to create. So again, make sure that when creating a membership feature that it will be based upon an existing feature. When looking for the streaming widget, make sure you're looking for the correct streaming widget. If you based your membership feature on articles, make sure you use the streaming widget recent articles. If you based it on, let's say, um, the membership feature uh, properties, then make sure that the streaming widget for it is based on the recent properties. So you don't have to create additional code and start doing extra work just to get it right. So hope this video was informative for you and have an excellent day.